Hello everybody and welcome to another reflection on the Psalms. Uh, Psalm 52 has a strange heading like many of the other Psalms. It's called a Maskell of David. We don't really know what Maskell means but it's probably a, a musical term or a literary term to help the, the kind of director of music to have uh, a beat to the tune that goes with the Psalm. Another title or another phrase that we might use in respect of Psalm 52 is that it's a bit of a rant. It's a bit of a rant uh, uh, from David uh, towards a, a chap called Doeg, an Edomite, who had basically snitched on David and had told Saul uh, where to find him and how to uh, uh, arrest him or, or indeed punish him much, much more severely. Um, and David um, starts off Psalm 52 by having a real go at Doeg and um, proclaiming him to be the traitor that he appears to have been. Verse 2, you who practice deceit, your tongue plots destruction. There may be times when we want to do that, when we want to speak or even pray um, words and sentiments of revenge and anger towards those who hurt us who seem to be bent on our destruction. But in Psalm 52, David gives us a, a much better model, not quite ignoring the things that Doeg had done, the uh, activities he'd been part of, but at least lifting his eyes away from the cause of the problem to one who is much, much higher. Um, from verse 8, he says this, but I am like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. Effectively, what he's saying to Doeg is do what you like. Do what you like, because I trust in somebody who is much stronger, much more powerful, much more loving than you will ever be. And whatever you do against me, I know that I am encompassed safely within God's unfailing love forever and ever. And the psalm ends with the next verse, verse 9, basically uh, with David's attention fully upon God and praising him. Uh, I will hope in your name, for your name is good. Friends, whatever we go through, however difficult uh, life might sometimes be, however hard the uh, voices and activities of our enemies may sometimes be. We can turn our trust to a God who is unfailing. So let me encourage you today to do that, uh, to turn to him in prayer and in praise, to thank him for this opportunity of a new day and to uh, relish the delight that you have as being uh, protected and preserved by him. God's love for you is unfailing. Take that, hold on to that, and let that carry you through today. Let's pray. Father, thank you for such a, an incredible love, an amazing love that we don't deserve. Thank you that even when we're letting people down uh, and speaking words of anger against others, you are still loving us. You don't love what we do, but you're loving us. So help us, Lord, to, to look to you, whatever our problem, to look to you and to trust in your unfailing love in everything that goes on. Amen. I hope that's helpful and uh, something for us all to think about uh, during the days and weeks ahead. God bless you.